And we're back after like waiting a full hour for my computer to update and then waiting and waiting. Okay, getting back into it. So ran back, did some S ranks and uh oh wait, no, not trying to do that. Hold on. Okay, audio sounded really light because I messed something up. But okay. Um, yeah, went back, did some S ranks. Now we're getting on to chapter three Ninja World where zero creeps, an earth earthly science, an uneventful morning. So many, <laughs> so many semicolons. So yeah, let's just dive into it. <clears throat> so yeah, last time after some form of infinite Tsukiyomi just went across the world, and people are now marked with a Sharingan like mark. Being surprised by the light. 24 others reported feeling ill. After a detailed examination, no major problems were discovered, and all patients were returned home after basic treatment. Thanks for the report. Go rest. For Thanks, guy, voiced by Go Kabuto. Forward. Yes, sir. That's how it sounds like. <sighs> no problems, at least so far. That's even stranger. We're still investigating, but it seems that all living beings in the hidden leaf were exposed to the light regardless of being indoors or even if they were sleeping. Huh. Also, all those exposed to it had a mark-like blemish appear somewhere on their bodies. But these marks disappeared within an hour. It felt more like it was absorbed into my body rather than disappear. Regardless, it seems imprudent to write off such a commotion so easily. Until we know what it is and what's happening, we should proceed carefully. Yeah. I'll have the inexperienced Genning stay in the village on standby in case anything else strange happens. Give all missions to tuning and above for now. I'll tell Sasuke to... All right, I, that was an XCOM 2 clip I was sharing. <laughs> okay, handle it. was the information we got from the Lord Seventh Hokage. There will be a limit placed on missions. So, no more missions for a while. Looks like it. That means I can just stay in my room and play video games all day. Wait, There's wait, no, wait. you know, excuse I, Sorry, why I can't. Awari. I know I finally have time off, but there's something I want to look into. Something you want to look into? <laughs> the fridge for my snacks. I'm going to gorge like crazy. I want to know what happened yesterday, but there's not enough information right now. I should probably look further into Ninja Heroes. Got my cat trotting all over my lap and bumping into stuff. Hey, you know the guy with an Arto avatar. Okay, then. Where were you when that stuff happened with the moon? Oh, man, I was outside then, so I looked right at it. And I got this weird blemish, which freaked me out, but it went away on its own. I was so relieved. Hey, did you do the new event? You mean Kaseki Gathering? Of course I did. You could get a pretty rare reward. What? Really? <laughs> oh, man. Don't do the events without me. Hmm. A new event, huh? Maybe I should see what it's all about. This is the Kiseki Reward Exchange. <laughs> that was worth the hard work. Is Choji playing? <laughs> Sorry, whenever I just hear a recognizable voice, I like to think it's just like actually the character playing. Kiseki gathering started. What's Kiseki gathering? It has Although you probably don't need to do it. It's not any fun, I bet. Hey, come on. You're supposed to be the guide for the game, aren't you? I mean you can't just go around saying stuff like that, you know? Well, I guess so. I guess I'll try it out. And I'll see what it's like. Alright, come on. Give me the event details. You could say please, Boruto. She's <laughs> being real nice to you. You might be able to get something you want. What's that mean? The event-specific character will explain all that at the mission information desk. Mission information desk, right. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, go to next episode. All right, she seem, she seems cagey about it, but let's see what's up. 
this mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. Tell me what the Kiseki Gathering event's all about. Not gonna lie, this clerk is real cute. I'm just saying. Here are the details. Kiseki Gathering is a battle event. It's really hot right now. You fight mysterious enemies in the limited time battles we've prepared. The mysterious enemies are very strong, but if you can beat them, you'll get stones called Kiseki. If you collect Kiseki and give them to Nanashi, the event guide, you can exchange them for rare items in the game. Also, if you have a winner Kiseki, you can get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace currently seen in commercials. However, it's completely up to luck whether or not you get a winner Kiseki, meaning you'll be really lucky if you get one. I mean, Boruto has really good luck of getting memorabilia of his dad, especially when he doesn't want it. So this should be pretty simple. Oh, so that's what Nanashi meant about something I might want. Ah, uh, I am afraid you can't participate in all the battles right now. The remaining battles are still being prepared. Sorry. That should sum things up. Okay, so is this going to be a, you know, barrage of battles, or is it just going to be... Alright, let's see. Um... I was playing, you know what? One of my new favorite characters right now is supporting uh, Kage Sasuke. Um, you know, we were playing as the Boruto one at the beginning. You know what? Let's go supporting Kage. Because we were playing as the Boruto version of Sasuke at the beginning of the game, and I got him mixed up. <clears throat> and so, 15 hit combo, perfect. Because I missed it, whatever. Because this version of Sasuke is so cool. Just like how he uses his lightning, how he moves around, the jutsus he can use. Yeah, him dashing around in this, like, lightning trail, and also, heavenly hand power. <laughs> I want to play online so much just to mess with people with that. <laughs> Sorry, you know, you got long range and close range fire jutsu. Heavenly hand power just to, like, really mess around with the field. So yeah, this is like one of my new favorite characters. This is like my favorite version of playable Sasuke. Dang. Come on. And also the ultimate jutsu is incredible. Gotcha. This jutsu is known as Kiri. With this clap of thunder, be gone. Yeah, that jutsu is crazy. That's <laughs> rag. Okay, so we just played it. Get to play again. All right, let's go with Kakashi. And I want to show this off because the thing is, I got the, you know, I paid for the Ultimate Edition. So I got Season Pass extra costumes, including, well, K Kakashi, Double Sharon Gun, Hokage Costume, Maskless. How about that? Look at that handsome son of a bitch. And, you know, it's, uh, Susano Lightning. Uh, Lightning Blade Speed, though, is like the best. Jutsu, so we're gonna go with Lightning Blade Speed. But yeah, playing as Kakashi without a mask is real wor weird. I'm kind of into it because. Oops, wasn't even trying to do the ultimate Jutsu. Yeah, there we go. Kakashi with maskless using team jutsu like Guy and Obito is really cool because just like how expressive his face is, you know? Because that was always like a thing about Itachi or Kakashi is like how expressive he was even though he wore a mask all the time. Um, and then it's always like, well, what's under the mask? Including, you know, one of the best filler episodes ever to come out of Naruto about like, you know, what's under his mask. But, um, sorry. 
And so it was just like when it got like a little manga chap, like a little like one shot manga chapter and an episode dedicated to finally revealing K so or Kakashi's face. It's just like, you know, it's what you expect. And, you know, that's what makes it kind of like nice to finally see. Do I have to? Okay. I'm ready. So, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff about Kakashi, but, you know, just having a playable version of him with his mask off is so surreal in a weird way. We have a winner. All right, who do you want to play as next? Um, actually, let's play as... Well, I don't know if I want to do Koji Kashin because I was playing as the Kara members and they're actually really cool. Um, but we also got Kawaki. He's fun to play as too. He's got some interesting abilities. Uh. There's just so many characters I want to play as. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just go with random. Not even seeing who am I playing as. I had my eyes closed. Okay, Naruto. This works. What was the conditions? Uh, six percent health. Finish the enemy's secret technique. No problem. Ooh. Gotcha. Just a second. I'll hit you. Too slow. I'll hit you. There we go. Seek with me, Kurama. Kill me, planetary Rasen Shuriken. Pew. All right, so just a series of random battles. I don't know how many there are, but three seems to be. There we go. Unfortunately, it looks like there were no winners in the kiseki you collected. Better keep playing. But if you give the kiseki you collected to the guide Nanashi, you can exchange them for great items. I was gonna say stuff we can actually pick or anything. Um, probably not, but that'd be all right. All S ranks. Is Naruto gonna be the only one? Okay, race the cat. I was gonna say, it's like, did Naruto was the only one who got experience, but I suppose that's just he was the fast, last fight. I'm speaking way too fast. Hey there. Hey, I gathered some Kiseki. Can you exchange them? All right, you can't exchange unless you have several. Yep, got them all here. I see. What's up with you? You're acting a little weird today. You... Me? It's nothing. Okay, I'll take the Kiseki. You handed over the Kiseki you gathered to Nanashi. No winners. I hate to give up, but that's all for today. I can still play the game tomorrow. How long does the okay, event uh, go on till, until tomorrow? Oh, oh event, sure. I almost forgot. There's something I wanted to ask you. So, there's a lot of people who get sick in the real world after playing this game. Do you know why that is? I don't. Oh. Something tells me she does. Me either. Maybe their eyes are tired? That's what I thought too, but I guess that's not it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure it out if I keep checking. You shouldn't stick your nose into it too much. It could be dangerous. 
How do you know? How is that dangerous? I'm just investigating why people get tired. <laughs> Thanks for worrying about me, though. You see, biological clocks... <laughs> Don't step on the keyboard. Sorry, I got my cat moving all across the desk. It's already nighttime. There's a little tower in the corner of the open spot of the desk where I got a little bed I'm for you. I was gonna say it's already night. We were watch or watching TV in the morning, probably got right to playing. You look outside and it's just like, oh man, have I been wrapped up in a game for 12 hours? It was only a couple of fights. Yeah, that's the Senju symbol, right? Oh, right, the Senju seal, right. The thing he's investigating. So this is where it was released. If so, then that infinite Tsukuyomi makes sense. That means that now, in this world, a mysterious Uchiha exists. How about that? <laughs> So, yeah, I know I saw, like, complaints just so, like, another story where a uh, secret Uchiha turns out to be the mastermind. And it's like, well, I don't dislike that because it's sort of like, you know, there's bound to be chances where some of them got out um, and avoided the slaughter. Kind of like how we hey. see Uzumaki's popping up every now and then, like Nagato and um, Karin. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to, but I forgot to bring a change of clothes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Hold on, I want to pause because I want to say something. Because <laughs> I kind of thought about it um, where it was just sort of like, yeah, Naruto is surprisingly busy as the Hokage because, you know, um, you know, despite all the peace going on in the world, you think the paperwork would be, um, you know, lighter, but it's not. In fact, it seems to be piled up higher than ever. And it's just sort of like, what could possibly be going on in the world where it's that complicated now? And I just had the realization, it's like, oh, it's just because he's stupid. <laughs> It's just like, it's too much paperwork, so it's just sort of like, what is any of this? Like, you really should have researched more. I should have known this was a problem. No, 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 I'm just kidding on my boy, but I just like to imagine it's just sort of like, Shikamaru, what's this word mean? And it's just like, okay, here's how global politics work. Ah, oh, jeez. Boruto. Hmm? This thing might be trickier than I thought. If something happens, take care of your mom and Himawari. That's ominous. <laughs> You can count on me. But it's not just mom and Himawari I'll protect. I'll take care of you too, dad. Big words for such a little man. <laughs> but I'm glad. Fist bump, yes! Okay, I'm heading out now. What do you learn from Killer B? Emotions can be expressed by bumping fists. Left, so, what to do? Days off can be so boring. Hmm. I have time, so I guess it's Ninja Heroes. Maybe part two of Kiseki Gathering started. Yeah, just keep cutting through it. If it goes at this fast, we can probably go episode to episode. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. That's why I came here. The battles you couldn't try last time have been unlocked. Make sure to give them a shot. Alrighty, so just another wave. It's weird, I was gonna say, it's like we're playing as the adults, or playing against the adults with Rock Lee, Choji, and Ten Ten. Are we gonna be fighting like Ino, Shikamaru, Kiba, or something? Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't we go in order of how we fought them? Let's play as Rock Lee first. Let's do Adult Lee. Mysterious enemy. Uh, 15 hit combo. That should be pretty easy with Lee. Shino! There we go. That's how you keep the combo up. Woo! 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 There he goes! I will uh, cartwheel and backflip towards you. Okay, I didn't think he would teleport like Guy, but I just couldn't remember. It's been a while since I played as Lee. 
Bam! We have a winner! Again, you know, I will say, it's like, since we're playing as adult versions of the characters, I'm surprised their movesets aren't different, or at least there aren't, isn't more variation. I thought maybe there was, like, maybe some mannerism changes? It was hard to tell. Like, I don't know, I played as Eno, adult Eno, and then I played as, um, you know, teenage Eno, and it sounded like their deliveries were a little bit different, but maybe I just heard different deliveries from the same, like, pool, as it were. So I don't know if there's... It just feels weird that, like, these are whole different character changes rather than alternate costumes like some of these were in Storm 4. It makes me think, it's like, there's gotta be something different, right? But nothing really is popping up, so I'm not sure. Okay, so let's go. Choji. So, it is a little disappointing where it's just sort of like, well, I wish there was more delineation. Oh, Tsunade. Get him, Choji. <laughs> Handled. Uh oh. Uh, you know what? Let's just re. Let's mulligan that. <laughs> just so I don't have to re fight, like. Oh, come on. I love that. It's like they threw ninja weapons and they just bounce off Choji. There we go. Know what I meant to do? Gotcha. <laughs> that was almost a very bad crotch um, punch. We have a winner. There we go. <clears throat> uh, now let's go with 10 10. Yeah, weapon control, gigantic iron ball, the same move she's had since two. But now that she uses, like, the Bashosin fan from the Golden Silver Brothers in her awakening, why can't she use that? Woo. Okay, let's. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of that more often. Just for the sake, so I don't have to, like, go back and do it over again. Okay, yeah. That's interesting because, yeah, Ten Ten now being able to do that. Because, you know, characters like Ten Ten, Eno, and Tamari, their combos work differently from other characters. Data, yeah, Data or two. Because their combos are more based around, um, you know, ranged attacks. And so with someone like Ten Ten, where she does have physical, or, you know, melee attacks. But being able to intercept that within her combos... Wait, hold on. Nope. Oh, for some reason... Ah. <laughs> awesome. Catch. There we go. <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, I wish, again, there is, and this is something I worried about, and this is what I brought up in my, you know, character wish list, where it's just like, they gotta make bigger variations of characters. Oh, yeah, giving them extra jutsus is cool, but they need more than that. They need, like, new ultimate jutsus, they need new combos, they need a lot of differences. If you give it to the event guide Nanashi, you'll get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace as a present. It'll be mailed to you within seven don't to eight worry, weeks. So happy. I don't know who that is, but good for you. Again, it's a running joke in Boruto whenever he buys card packs. Um, he gets keeps getting copies of the ultra rare Nar or Naruto Seventh Hokage card, which he doesn't want, and so it just you know, Borto has uh, a knack for getting, you know, memorabilia of Naruto. <laughs> I gathered some kiseki, and one of them is a winner. Uh, I didn't think you'd get a winner, Borto. You had over the kiseki you've gathered. Okay, so I gave you the kiseki. What do I do now? If you write the reward code, 8070502, on the postcard included in the game box, you'll be sent the necklace. Hmm. I see. Can you write that Are down? You sure. About what? <sighs> Nothing. Hey, you're definitely acting strange. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> you call me the guide. Your friend. Boruto, you are so... so... so weird. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. It's okay. I don't need cheering up. I may not look like it, but I'm actually excited. About what? Don't tell anyone else, but something really great is going to happen. I have That's no ominous. idea what you're talking about. Is there another event starting or something? Yeah, there is. A big one. So that's the reason. I'm acting different because I've been keeping it secret. So that's what it is. Good to know. It sounds like you have another fun event, though. I'll check it out next time I'm investigating. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I have to fill out that postcard. Boruto. Hmm? You're really not all that bad. Hmm? Huh? So... So... If anything you don't like happens, or if you want to get away... You can come here. Huh? That's all. See ya. Alrighty. So, you know, I don't feel like it's a spoiler or anything to, you know, say. Okay, I just saw it. It's like, oh, hey, that Okage, you know, that monument's missing Naruto. And Kakashi, wait, yeah. Now, I was going to say, she's definitely in league with Murs and um, the other guy. A weapon does not need a kind name. Narashi will be perfect for you. Oh, the, their people who've been marked, those gems, and so they've been looking for someone who's got the seven. <laughs> With this, the tracking effectiveness should dramatically improve. It's still experimental, but I really hope the seventh allows it. Excuse me. Seventh? Uh, seventh? 
And Shikamaru, too. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> no. Katasuke. It's you. You're Katasuke. Wh what happened? I don't know. My head. So many things are disappearing. Disappearing? What do you mean? Not to be okay. Hold on. Call the medical corps right away. It's an emergency. Yes, sir. Okay, I was gonna say not to be mean, but it's just sort of like yeah, hearing that side by side, you know, it's like okay, it's Roger Craig Smith as Katasuke, and it's just like I hear something in the audio. Now that I've you know gotten into voice acting, you know, it's just sort of like I can notice stuff, and it's not a complaint. It's just sort of like ah, uh, you know, a pro like one of my favorite. Um, you know, it's just sort of like I just realize how human the setup is. And just like that's interesting, and again, not a complaint. It's just sort of like does that sound a little off? It sounds a little like yeah, whatever. It definitely sounds like very home studio. But again, that's not a complaint, it's just an observation. Down. It's funny to see Katasuke Sensei so flustered. Our plans will now begin to bring pain to the whole world. There we go. I was gonna say, interesting that there was like, you know, an Uzumaki and an Uchiha hiding in the rain village and then getting wrapped up in everything. This is oddly very Kingdom Hearts. Go away notifications. I already checked the sales. Okay, sorry. All right. Seven. So Mare's just going big brother on everyone's brains. Oh, good. You're both awake. I will bring pain to this you... world. Seventh. Prepare for war. Definitely. War? All right, this is interesting on a couple of levels. So that's what was going on at the beginning. So there's some link between, I guess it's like using people's avatars to collect data in order to, whatever. Mom, what's going on? Good, you're okay, Boruto. What do you mean? Something's wrong with the village. Everyone started preparing for war all of a sudden. What? I don't have any idea what's happening. I was worried something might be wrong with you too. Thank goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll go ask Dad. Boruto. 
You guys! Hey, hey, what's going on? My mom's acting strange, and I... I'm gonna go talk to my dad. The Seventh isn't home? He's at the Hokage's chamber. I assume. I haven't checked in yet. Dad, are you seriously going to war? Dad! Seventh! <laughs> Boruto! What's wrong? Are you okay? Did his eyes just glitch out? <gasps> Sorry! Some kind of crazy power! It, it erased my memory! The memories of this Merit's guy came in and took me over! Thanks to Kuruma protecting me. I, yeah, his eyes I are flickering in a weird way every once in a while. Back to myself, but only for an instant. Listen, the mastermind is zero. Merits tell, tell Sasuke. Dad! Boruto, you take it from here. Remember what we talked about? Yeah, it's happening sooner than I expected. Get to the battlefield once you're prepared. Dad. I suppose, <laughs> I guess I'm just thinking it's like going to war with who exactly? Just like anything? We'll get there. The seventh and my mom are acting the same. <laughs> he said something about a zero and Merce. Yeah. Hey, Sarda, do you know where Sasuke is? Do you think I know where my dad is? Oh, there he is. <laughs> And yeah, because Susano is just such a thick layer of armor, he can, you know, resist it. I'm glad you're all right, Dad. Sasuke, who is Merits or Zero? Zero is the name of an organization. Merits is the one who founded it. I still don't know any other details. Only that they're a criminal organization. It's obvious that they're behind what's happening in the ninja world. Are you talking about all this war commotion? Doing something so extravagant so suddenly. Is that possible? No. There were signs a few days ago. If you think of the scope and the timing of the incident, it has to have something to do with that infinite Tsukuyomi. There's something else. When that light shined, this sort of mark appeared on everyone. Like a blemish. Mom and Himawari had it too. But why don't we have it? Yeah. Naruto wrote that the mark appeared on all living things. Even if they didn't look directly at the moon. I used Susanoo to block the light, so I didn't get a mark. How did you block it? Just by I being in the game? Know. We were playing the game when it happened and didn't see it. In there? Y young Lord! Unless the light was so pervasive, you know, blocking its uh, their eyes with the visor. You're okay. <gasps> Wait, are you acting strange too, Young Lord? I'm fine. I'm normal. R really? Thank goodness. But with the seventh in that condition, I don't know what to say. Did you see the seventh too, Katasuke Sensei? Yes. Le Hold on a second. Okay, back. Sorry. Had someone doing some shopping for me, they just dropped some stuff off. Just some, you know, minor things until I do my own shopping tomorrow. Late last night, I went to the Hokage's chamber to show him a new scientific ninja tool I developed. Scientific ninja tool? You mean that bag? <laughs> oh, no. The new scientific ninja tool is in the lab. <laughs> in here? <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it's the Ninja Heroes game. Huh? You keep that on you all the time? Yes. It's a popular game, so I carry it around with me, so I can play anytime. 
I mean, fair. <laughs> Ninja Heroes. That's the game I was talking about. Ninja Heroes is a virtual online game that got popular really quickly recently. If you put on this special equipment, I shouldn't be eating in the middle of all this, but I'm space, hungry. And you can do all sorts of things there. Oh, the virtual space. Right. It's like another world that's different than the real world. Maybe it would be easier for you to understand if I said it was a genjutsu world used for recreation. A genjutsu world? People get weirdly tired. That might be Games more people. literal we were than it might sound at first. Uh, Sasuke? Where did you get this? I just bought it. Oh, didn't you say you didn't know who made this game? That's right. I was wondering about it too, so I looked into the developer, but I didn't find anything out. Do you have a Kabuto avatar by chance? Hey, Boruto. Got a minute? Hmm? What's wrong? It's just so much information. I'm starting to get confused. So how about we get organized here a little? We might be able to figure something out. Yeah, me too. Actually, I gotta admit, my head is all messed up as well. A lot's going on. So let's review what's been going on. Right now, it's not only the Hidden Leaf Village, but the whole ninja world is acting strange. Okay, fair. Everyone's personality has changed, and they're all trying to start a war. If we follow this back, do you remember what the cause was? Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure that it's because of the moon. I mean, from a couple days ago, isn't it? Yes. Blemishes appeared on everyone because of that. It's somehow connected to all the current commotion. I'd say, how could you put an infinite Tsukiyami on the moon when it took, like, you know, a nine-tailed beast to do it the one time? But I suppose it's a different scale. That one was, like, a mass hypnosis. This is more of, like, a mass... Well, technically hypnosis, but different form. It's, it's weird, okay? Shut up. I understand. But you didn't, even though you were in the same house. What was the difference in what you did versus what they did? He was playing the game. The visor completely blocked out his view. Ninja Heroes is about all there is. Yes. You, me, and Sarada, too. We were all playing Ninja Heroes. I think you were getting information about fatigue from the game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's about the only difference. I think this is a big point. You make it sound like it is. Then I guess either the game console or the virtual space has a trick to it. If there is, we don't know if it has any connection with this case. However, I think it's worth investigating. Yeah. Sorry, I can see my mic, um, noticing me eating. Sasuke, we thought about it, and we think the game is suspicious. Oh, you don't, don't say. Don't ask me what, but I feel like we'll find some sort of clue there. I was thinking the same thing. Um, what is it exactly? I first grew suspicious when you didn't receive the effects of the moonlight. You were only playing the game. It's not like you took any protective measures. However, that light couldn't be blocked by any ordinary means. You would need a special jutsu like mine to interrupt it, or... not be there to begin with. Be there? And if you weren't there, then it wouldn't be a stretch to think there was something to the game itself. Dad, do you mean... <sighs> I see it. A hidden jutsu inscription. It looks like a special one similar to a summoning. Oh. Huh? A summoning? That's been set to the game console? Yes. I don't know what jutsu it's based on. But I think we can assume that it has the power to transport something. Considering that this was set to this console, there's a possibility that identical inscriptions could be set in other items. 
Okay. This is unbelievable. So this is the reason why the mark didn't appear when we were hit by the moonlight. Yes. Sorry for notifications in getting words, in the way. You weren't really on this side. You were actually in a different space, sent there by the transportation jutsu inscription set to that console. Hmm. But doesn't transportation usually mean moving the entire body? Not knowing the details of the jutsu, this is merely a conjecture, but is it possible that this jutsu is only transporting the mind? I was going to say. If not, <coughs> this case would have been discovered sooner. It would have been the game that makes people disappear. Right. That's true. And if your subconscious isn't there and you don't the can't absorb the light. The light is introduced by the mind and not the body. That's why we didn't get the mark. Since we were over there. Hmm? Wait a second. If our minds were being transported, that means that space was... Huh? I mean, what is Ninja Hero? Oh, come on. Okay, back. Sorry, got booted off again because I've got... I share all my console, you know, all my accounts with family, and so whenever they jump on consoles, it's always under my stuff. And so I'm the one who gets booted off when they're playing stuff, and it's just like, trying to bounce around that, but sorry, it just... It's annoying, I'm glad they're having fun, but God, I'm trying to work here. I'm the one who's got this on. Okay, anyways, sorry. Continuing on as they're figuring out what the hell's going on. Right. Sorry, this also makes editing a real pain because it means it splits up, you know, everything I gotta put together later. Anyways. It turns out that our minds were transported to some other space, not in the game, and playing there. Seriously? However, that can only be possible if there is a space to bring in the mines. It would take a powerful ninja to be able to do something like that. An Uchiha could do it. An Uchiha? I mean, yeah. Of course, not every Uchiha clan member could do something like that. But it's obvious there is someone here who can. <laughs> An Uchiha could do that? What makes you say that? Because we were awesome! <laughs> few days ...on a mission for Naruto. He wanted me to look into a scroll stolen by someone named Teguse, who left the village several months ago. Teguse? Could it be that the scroll he stole was the history of Warring State Seals? Yes. The scroll had details about dangerous Genin sealed during the Warring States period, and included their abilities and locations where they were sealed. Huh. I received a copy and went around investigating the seal locations. The other day, I discovered that the seal for one of the locations had been broken. Oddly specific? The person sealed there was an Uchiha clan member. I don't know their name. It wasn't listed anywhere. However, according to the scroll, this person possessed an ability called Yachihoko and was instrumental in the war as an Uchiha clan weapon. There's something else. The record said that aside from Yachihoko, this person had jutsu such as Tsukuyomi and Amaterasu implanted. I know Amaterasu is the black flame you use, but what is Tsukuyomi? <laughs> the user creates a space in full control of its shape, time, and rules, and then brings in a third party. The jutsu is primarily used to inflict psychological damage on your opponent. Yeah. You want to know what I saw as I watched my parents die in front of me for three days straight? For example. Exactly. Everything would make sense. The key is the existence of this mystery Uchiha. It would be safe to assume that only someone with Uchiha abilities could control a jutsu on the scale of that infinite Tsukuyomi. And the ninja hero space we played in was created by that Tsukuyomi, a Uchiha clan jutsu. I wasn't able to track down Teguse, who stole the scroll, but based on the information, it seems that he assisted Zero. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Ninja Heroes was created from his skills and the power of the Uchiha clan. So it's not actually VR, it's Genjutsu, which is kind of a fun twist. I don't know who the developer is. It's rather clear now that Zero and the game are connected. We also know this chaos won't end unless we stop Zero. 
With how little information we have on their organization, this game is the breakthrough we need. You will go into the game and see if there's anyone inside connected to Zero. If we do find someone connected to Zero, we'll be able to find out what they're after and where they're headquartered. Okay, let's roll. Right, Boruto? Right, Mitsuki? Y yeah. Okay, I'm just looking up something. It's just like, you know what? Katasuke sounds a little different now. Okay, um, I don't think it was Roger Craig Smith. It sounded like him, but apparently it's Christopher Corey Smith. I'm trying to find just like, what has he been in? Just to be sure. Or at least that's what he's under in other things. Okay. Just a second. He's a Jonin? Okay. I thought he was just a researcher. Okay. Anyways. Sorry. I thought it was Roger Craig Smith, but I guess not. But okay. Oh, he's here. Let's get started then. Sure. What's wrong? We have to do our best if we're going to resolve this situation. That's not the problem. Uh, I know. Boruto. Hmm? Huh? You already have an idea who's connected to Zero, don't you? <laughs> Mitsuki, he doesn't understand social skew, social cues, but he can read people. I mean, there's really only one person who it could be. How can I help you today? Oh, you're here. Yeah. What's wrong? You sound so gloomy. That's not the Boruto I know. Um... Oh, I know. Are you a bad you guy? About to say something selfish again, right? You want more missions? Hmm. Fine. I'm really not supposed to give in to such demands. But for you, I can bend the rules. Ah, oh, she likes us. Unfortunately. You know, that's not why I'm here today. <laughs> hmm? The ninja world is in chaos right now. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm the guide for this game. I don't know anything going on outside. My dad and a lot of other people have gone crazy. War is about to break out in the ninja world. Hmm? So? How is telling me going to help when I don't know anything about it? Well... Of course you know. You guys! What do you mean? There's a lot of evidence pointing in your direction. Boruto. If this is too hard for you, I can do it. I can kill her. This place isn't a virtual game space. It's a genjutsu world created by someone. They're using an Uchiha ability called Tsukuyomi to make it possible. We also know someone capable of doing that is with this criminal organization called Zero. <laughs> we already know this game is connected to Zero. In other words, it wouldn't be strange if there was a Zero supporter here. They'd also have the ability to take part in the game at will. I remember what you said. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. Yeah. And you actually did it. So, what are you trying to say? That I'm this Zero supporter because I can control this space at will? Yes. Although we don't know if there's some third party controlling the character named Nanashi. Or if it's through some other means. Or if Nanashi is just an AI! <laughs> what did you think too, Boruto? I don't want to think Or wouldn't even be an AI because this isn't real. It's She'd be a Genjutsu person. <laughs> pointing at you, Nanashi. <laughs> oh, so you noticed. So it is you. I guess it's all right. I couldn't keep up the ruse much longer anyway. You guys were right about this space. My role is to manage it while disguised as a guide character. To be honest, it was hard playing the guide. 
I had to do my best using systematic words and being polite. Two things I hate. Doing job as a guide and having everyone enjoy the game without drawing attention to myself until I was ready to execute the plan. Oh, why did I get stuck having to do that for such low-life ninjas? That Tegusei guy really gave me such stupid orders. I just followed them because Zero is going to grant me my wish. Why would you do that? I needed a means to recover. Engraved Tsukuyomi requires a lot of chakra, and I was just revived. That's why this space was set with a chakra draining device to use for the recovery. That's the truth behind the fatigue you guys were sniffing around about. I see. And you recovered enough chakra to use the engraved Tsukuyomi, that unnatural moon phenomenon. Yes. Thanks to it, I was able to mark everyone in the ninja world. I suppose, there you so go. So I am actually grateful to you. You and all the game players who helped me recover. Oh, and I'm also grateful for all the Kiseki gathering. Especially you, Boruto. That Kiseki you brought was the Hokages, after all. What? What do you mean? She played you, bro! There's this ability called Yachi Hoko. It allows you to control the minds and chakra of any person linked with the mark. Being able to control their minds means they can be summoned to wherever you want. So she was the one sealed away and not Mares? Have you figured it out? The opponents you fought in the Kiseki gathering were the minds brought here from the real world with Yachi Hoko. The Kiseki that you got from defeating them? It actually belonged to that person. In short, their memories. Putting out the light inside the Kiseki, that removes the memory. And if instead, another memory were put inside... They can be brainwashed. Exactly. Then I got my dad's... That's why I told you it wouldn't be any fun. But you will get that necklace in the mail in seven to eight weeks. <laughs> Do you really think doing this will get your wish granted? You've just created chaos. That was precisely what my wish was. Ninja turning on and hurting each other, the ninja world collapsing on itself, and erasing all of the ninja everywhere. Zero will make that come true. Aw, she's a little ninja like Obito slash Madara for Boruto. No one can stop it now. You. Screw you! No way you're getting away with this! You can protest all you want, but... How exactly are you going to stop me? It's easy. We'll get you to tell us everything. Stuff like how to get the memories back, or where the enemy hideout is. I see. However, you worthless ninja are weak, foolish, and small. The only thing big about you are your mouths. You really think? You think you can beat me? I'm Nanashi Uchiha! <laughs> okay, they did say it was Genin who got sealed away, so yeah, she'd be the one. But this implies that the, oh, we'll get there. Maybe it'll, it'll explain later. This implies she got sealed away, like back during Hashirama and Madara's time. Uchiha's human weapon. Those eyes and hair color are the same as mine and my dad's. So the Uchiha who was revived was... That's you! In any case, being able to change the space all at once. What do you think? This is all just trivial for me to do. You are no match for me. Or do you still think you can defeat me? <laughs> is she gonna be playable? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Stop helping Zero. There's still time to make this right. Stop? Who do you think you are? You've lived all your life in comfort. You're all soft. There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. What? What do you know about me? You don't know what I feel? Or what I've been through? Can we talk about it so we can get to the roots of your issues? Sharingan! <laughs> there are so many things in this world that I absolutely despise. That includes ninja. And also, 
the ninja world. Just thinking about it consumes me with rage. It pains me. I can't stop the anger from pouring out of me. That's the reason I supported Zero. And why I sent the whole ninja world into chaos. I hate ninja, all of them. I wish that they'd all die. This is Nanashi. Hold on. Are we actually be able to fight her? Okay. Again, I made the joke. It's just like, oh, she's like a little libido and Madara. Well, because, you know, same goal, really. It's like, it's the ninja world that caused this unjust pain. So if the ninja world goes away, there you go. Um, and so that was all Madara's plan with his own infinite Tsukiyomi, you know? It's just like, ninja's the one, yeah. And Obito, it's like, ninjas are the one that use kids and turn them into weapons. So the ninja world needs to go. And Nanashi. Nanashi, stop! I was gonna say, is she actually playable or is this just like a special boss fight? What was the other? Support attack two times. Okay. Tag, you were almost it. have happened to her in the past it must be the reason for her anger you think Mitsuki but we have no way of finding that out now no! Uh, Bad. Uh, I gotta use the vanishing with saying more try to hit her with the I'm ready if you need me Can do is use this. Ooh. Here goes. Oh boy. <laughs> Here goes. It's my dad's jutsu. <laughs> no, it's her jutsu. He just happens to be able to use it too. What in the world happened to her? Here goes. She'll have to tell us herself. Well, that was also another phrase. Implanted. Well, Uchiha weapon. Is it literally someone else's showering gun just jammed into her face? Oops, I was hoping I could throw that. Oh, it still worked! <laughs> I thought it disappeared! That's why I like the Vanishing Rust Sangon Boruto can do. It'll just do stuff like that. Ah, oh, boy, I shouldn't have ran right into that. She's so much stronger than us, despite being about the same age. What has she been through? Yeah, I messed up there at the end. Time out. Her wounds. It seems she has the advantage in this space. You think it's her Genjutsu? <laughs> Nanashi. If only I had you back then. Hey. <laughs> We're back. Seems that way. <clears throat> oh, you're awake. The plan is already going smoothly. I think I've done enough. There's no need to monitor that side anymore. No, just... Hmm. But... It's fine. The plan is going smoothly, as Nanashi said. Leaf, sand, cloud, stone, mist. All of the five great villages have started preparing for war. It's only a matter of time now before the fifth great ninja war begins. The world needs pain. By inflicting pain, this unrefined world will be able to grow. Merit, you are something akin to me. Your family and friends were taken from you by the warring nations. 
You learned of pain just like me, and realized how wrong the world is. Therefore, we have a similar intention. Changing the world is quite simple, if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. Dedicate your efforts and your will to realize Akatsuki's mission. But you don't know how he changed in the end. <laughs> the whole world. The people. War will ruin the villages, and at that point, they'll collapse. And Zero shall provide the reign of power that Lord Pain strived for. <laughs> Just, yeah, submission by disaster. Episode 3, The Ninja World, where Zero creeps. Alrighty. So, yeah, a lot going on there. <laughs> Between Shattered Peace. Yeah, a lot going on there. So, yeah, Nanashi being a Genin stat, or, you know, sealed away for being a power, you know, for being so dangerous. Again, that implies it was just sort of like, either, either way, she's got to be like 50, okay, whatever. Well, they say sealed away, so maybe she just put in an actual stasis so she doesn't look older. Because, yeah, it would imply, okay, we're only halfway through the story. It feels like it's already coming to a conclusion quickly. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff from that. Episode 4, Tor Ninjas Torn by Memories. So yeah, we got a new chapter. So, Naruto versus Sasuke, so we'll see how things go. Maybe uh, what we saw in the beginning was just the midpoint. But yeah, it's coming together. Nanashi, at, at whatever point, sealed away when she was young. And, you know, somehow used by the Uchiha in order to become a weapon with a powerful, you know, uh, Mangekyo Sharingan. I was going to say, like, that design is, like, is that technically a six-pronged Sharingan, the way it loops in on itself? Or, <laughs> so is that akin, you know, is she on par with Sasuke? Um, but, in all seriousness, she was sealed away and eventually, like, drug out by, you know, Murs, I guess. And so, by creating, using Genjutsu to sap away Chakra, well, yeah, set up a VR game that's actually a Genjutsu, and then... Uh, sapping the people's chakra and then also pulling in memories and, you know, uh, yeah, memories from the Aether, basically, and then able to corrupt specific people and anyone involved in it. So, or, yeah, by using the infinite Tsukiyomi to, like, mark people, bring their memories into, or, um, yeah, bring their memories into the game so they can be sought out for, and then being controlled and, yeah, brainwashed by this Tsukiyomi to just, you know, cause war, cause destruction on such a massive scale, like Pain originally taught and what Pain's original idea was for the Tailed Beast, to capture all the Tailed Beasts, create incomparably massive jutsu and just nuke the, like everything and with so much destruction and so much pain it would you know supposedly just f put everybody into submission out of sheer fear but again how nagato eventually changed and how that pain got rechanneled but yeah mers doesn't know so we gotta go correct that but we'll wrap up here for right now, and next time we continue, it's on to Ninjas Torn by Memories. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.